Let's learn how to set up and program ESP32 room module using Arduino IDE. We will explore first how to connect ESP32 to computer, then make sure ESP32 COM ports detects, and then we will install support for ESP32 board in Arduino softwares. And finally, we will upload the code to blink an LED connected to ESP32. So here we have ESP32 dev kit. So we have this ESP32 room microcontroller sitting on the top of ESP32 dev kit. And to connect this ESP32 module with our laptop in order to program it, we need to have a USB cable. So we have this USB cable, so type A to micro USB. To connect to the laptop, we have to connect the micro USB end to this ESP32 module. And the type A connector of the USB will go to the laptop's USB hub. Right? So this is how we connect ESP32 module to our laptop to program this ESP32 using Arduino IDE. Now you can see there's an LED which is power LED to add a support of ESP32 into the Arduino IDE. So you can see I have written a simple small sketch where we have set up the IO2 pin that's a GPIO2 pin as an output and then we are blinking the LED which is connected to GPIO2 that's a IO2 pin on our dev kit. So we do have a built-in LED but we can also connect an external LED. So the first thing is to add a support for ESP32 microcontroller into the Arduino IDE. So we have to go to file then go to preferences and then we have this additional board manager URL so click on this icon and then you see I already have one URL added for ESP8266 so I hit enter here and on a new line we have to paste this URL this is the URL that I have got it and I have pasted the link in a video description so you can copy and paste it this link directly so let me show you so here's the link that is coming from okay so that is an ESP expressive website but i have seen like for some people they do need to add one more url which i basically take from the arduino forums so just copy this one more url hit enter and paste it here so this two url we have to add into the arduino ide basically for some people adding just one url works fine i realize for some people adding only one doesn't help them to install the esp32 boards for me i do need to add this additional url as well so hit ok and then click on ok again and uh, it will download the packages for esp32 into your arduino ide so it takes a few minutes or seconds so you can see in the lower right corner it says downloading some packages and then we will go to the board manager and then we can install the board so you can see in the top left corner there is this icon board icon so if you click it will open the board manager or you can also go into tools and then go to the board and then click on board manager so both works fine you can see in a lower right corner it says some indexes could not update it and it gives url so this is the problem that i was talking about but just forget about this problem because we added both url now if we search for esp32 into the board manager search bar here you can see esp32 by espressive system so click on this install button and you can see in a lower right corner it started installing the ESP32 specific board packages into the Arduino IDE. So this takes a couple of minutes. So let's wait until this finish. So you can see now it says successfully install ESP32 boards and ESP32 you can see here it says installed uh, by Espressive Systems and now we can click this icon again this board manager icon and you can see that board manager goes away and now we have the code that written to blink the LED connected to IO2 pin on ESP32 dev kit. Now we will go to this tools on our top menu bar and then go to board and then we have to go to ESP32 and you can see the first one ESP32 dev module so we have to select and you can see now the changes reflected here ESP32 dev module go to tools again and uh, go to port and make sure you select the right com port in my case my ESP32 board is detected as com10 so I select the com10 uh, if you are not sure what com port basically the Arduino ID detects by itself but if in case it fails to detect then open a device manager quickly and then go to the ports so look at this here's the ports expand and you can see i have my esp32 board detected on com10 so once you're sure you can select all the settings 
and then if you want to confirm you can click this drop down box and you can see usb 32 dev module is connected on com 10. i think it's a good practice to take this uh, usb 32 module and plug it on the breadboard so i can place it like this and once it is on a breadboard then it's a little bit stable everything looks fine and you can see on the top left menu bar there is this arrow icon that says upload so click on upload some people prefer to click on verify and then upload i just click upload directly and anyways if you can look at the lower right corner it says compiling the sketch so it anyways verify first before it uploads the code on onto the usb32 board so let's wait and watch you can see it will show you all the progress so it is uploading right now and you can see the upload is already started now you can see the code is uploaded and the led is blinking with one second of delay so this led is connected to d2 pin that's io2 onto the esp32 so if we want we can connect external led so longer leg of the led will connect to d2 pin so d2 is basically io2 and the shorter leg will connect to the ground and you can see now both led work in sync so this led is blinking with one second of delay and it is connected to io2 pin on esp32 for some board you may need to uh, press uh, the boot button for a while when you are uploading the code uh, you have to press and hold boot button while uploading code in my case i really don't need because i can write the code and upload straight away and then press the reset or enable button onto the esp32 board i don't need it in my case it just directly works fine and you can see now led is blinking with one second of delay so let me show you if i change this delay uh, between blinking to 500 milliseconds and if i just press upload button on top left menu bar you can see i don't need to press any buttons onto the esp32 dev board and it still upload the code into the esp32 microcontroller now you can see led blinking is a little bit faster so this is how we will program but in case if you need then you might need to hold boot button for a while when the code is uploaded onto the esp32 board and then press reset button once so it depends but sometimes you don't need to do anything you don't need to press any button and it's still the code uploads because there are so many different variants in the market of esp32 and some board are designed a little bit differently and some board uh, do need some additional uh, buttons to press i hope you have found this video educational and entertaining if you want to learn more about esp32 to use it in your iot projects then check the link in the video description i have provided learning resources thank you very much for your time and see you into the next video bye bye for now